Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at uh, 10th of the 10th 2024's multiplication cages by Clover. Normal Sudoku rules apply. The digits in each cage must multiply to the value of the clue in the top left corner of the cage. Um, before we get into that, hello, um, I'm Bill. Uh, this is Gas, uh, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create set and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the girl reading this. Um, Boys can be girls too. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. Sorry, it's been a long week. I didn't use my brain at all at work today. And ugh, what's what's the reverse of like coming home exhausted and just going, I haven't turned my brain on in like uh, 12 hours. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you will also find hat times next to the link. I should probably tell you about the hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Hats are not redeemable for legal tender in any country in the world, really. Um, let's get into it. So, normal Sudoku rules apply, uh, which means that uh, each box, each row, and each column must have... Oi, oi, oi. We're off to a good start today. Um, must have the digits one to nine, it's one to each. Now, in this uh, puzzle, there are two cell cages. Now, uh, any digits that we put in the cage must multiply together to give the digit in the cage. So, um, I fingers crossed I don't accidentally put... Um, Fingers crossed I don't accidentally confuse one of the cages with a killer cage and confuse myself uh, real badly. Um, but that being said, let's get into it. Now, it's a clover puzzle and it's uh, rotationally symmetrical uh, uh, down this axis, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to put it in the cages where there is literally no other choice about what it can be. This is one five. Oh, I'm going to turn off conflict checker. I meant to turn off conflict checker for this puzzle. Or for most of them. Um, bip, 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 uh, off. Thank you. Uh, 1 and 7. Uh, 9 and 8 is 72. 1 and 2 is 2. Which means I'm going to come up here and make that 5, that 1. Now that uh, this can't be 1 and 8, this is 2 and 4. Uh, this was always going to be 3 and 5. Uh, 1 and 6, or 2 and 3, we don't know which one that is. Uh, 9 and 7 is 63. Uh, 6 can be two things. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to... 9 and... Uh, 72 is 9 and 8. 45 is 9 and 5, which means this is 8 and 9. Uh, this is 5 and 9. Uh, 27... Uh, 21 is always going to be 7 and 3. Uh, once we take the 3 away, this can't be 3 and 8, so this is 6 and 4. Uh, 5 is always going to be 1 and 5, uh, which is very useful. Uh, I will get to that in a second, because that's pretty cute. Uh, 9 and 7 is 63, which I've already said. I uh, mean, this is 8 and 9. Uh, oh, this 7 9 resolves this 1 7. Uh, 1 and 7. Uh, I can still do that, the cute lo I can still show that cute logic off over here. Um, 20 is going to be 4 and 5, because it can't be 2 and 10. This is still a Sudoku puzzle. Uh, 21 must be 3 and 7. Uh, this is also 3 and 7. And now, uh, oh yeah, this 1 can't be 2 and 4. Because uh, I've placed the 2 in here, uh, this can only be 2 and 3, so it must be 1 and 6. And this must be 2 and 3. Uh, this 6, uh, well... Six can be one of two things. It can either be one and six or two and three. Um, but uh, over here, what I do know is because I have a one, two, three, and a six over here. Oh, hang on. One over here. I do know which way around this goes. One, six. Now, uh, place one and six in here. This cage can never be one and six. Or the fact that I've got two ones here. Uh, two, four pair tells me how they go around. Two and three here means that this has to be the one six cage, and this is the two three cage. Thank God. Okay. Um, and, oh, like, I teach for a living, and I have a math degree that I, I don't know if I could live with myself. I could absolutely live with myself. If it, if it all went pear-shaped, I'd just delete the video and go again. 
Um, alright. Uh, now, that's all the variant logic done, so now we're just doing a bunch of, uh, Sudoku, which is lovely. Two and three over here means that that's five and three. Uh, three over here means I'm going to unwind most of this, uh, three sevens in the grid. One over here sees this one, so that's what, two and one. Uh, ba -ba -ba. uh, no. Yes, I can do that one. Uh, two and three, I've got a two down there. Uh, this is two and four. Oh, five over here it means that that's five, that's four. Oh, um, if you are in Melbourne and very specifically, uh, coming to PAX tomorrow, um, feel free to come learn how to play Magic the Gathering from me. Um, I'm getting paid to have fun doing something I like. Uh, what a, what a horrible way to spend my weekend. Um, this cell sees five and eight, so that's a two. Uh, this is a five-eight pair. Uh, but, oh, this is four, uh, five, six, and three. I can actually do all of that. Uh, this column has three and five, so that's a six. And then five in this row tells me which way around the five and the three go. Two and three go there. Um, ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. uh, four, eight, and nine. Oh yeah, there's an eight and nine there. Uh, so that's a four. Uh, seven, nine pair tells me that this can't be nine. So that's eight. This is nine. Uh, five, seven, eight to place across here. I know where seven goes. That's, that's not that bad. Uh, this is a five and eight pair. Uh, this is a four and a six. Uh, this, uh, where does three go in column eight? Three must go here. Oh, I could, uh, oh, and that's just an eight single, and so is that one. Um, this is four and six, meaning this has to be a one, two pair. And then, uh, let's look somewhere else in the grid. Why not? Treat yourself. Um, this is an eight. Treat yourself. Uh, seven means that 9 and 7 get unwound over here, uh, 5 over here, uh, points down here, so that's 8, that, that's 5, and does this 8, oi, 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 8 and 5, uh, one, oh, uh, 1 and 9 to place in column 9, I have a 1, 6 pair, so I know which way around they go, which undoes that 7, 9 while I'm going, um, this is a 4-6, but I have a 1-6 pair here, so that tells me which way around this goes. This is 8 and 4. Uh, 2, 4, 7, 9, 6. 4, 6, 4, 6. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What else have I got to place? That's a 2. And I have a 6 here. Ooh. Um, it is Friday night here in uh, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, and I've had my bottom kicked by uh, Daylight Savings this week. So, um, love that for me. But, this has been Multiplication Cages by Clover. Uh, my name's still Bill Murphy. So, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And all night, or, you know, wherever you are in the world, treat yourself. Have a good one on me. And I will catch you next time. Cheers. Aww.